Diego Velázquez is probably the best known of the Spanish artists of this period. He is trained by Francisco Pacheco in a community of scholars. The group encouraged philosophical and theological debate. They're adding an air of the intellectual to everything Velázquez does, in this case, acting as a visual artist. These debates then found themselves their way into the artwork of Velázquez and other members of Pacheco's community. Now, Velázquez quickly moves up to become a court painter and palace chamberlain. Very powerful position. Court painter is one thing, but palace chamberlain means he's basically the person, the gatekeeper to the king. Now, between 1629 and 1631, he will travel to Italy to study art, a theme that we've seen a lot in the last couple of chapters. He's also a devout Christian, although he and many other uh, members of Pacheco's community, as well as others in Spain at the time, live in this time of fear, concerned that any word or activity could be construed as blasphemous by the Inquisition. This is particularly problematic for artists because, well, by its nature, art requires you to put your own ideas out there. And so it becomes one of those things that the Inquisition can point to, and it becomes a very difficult field to work in. 